reasons why they're a top 10 team. Taking on a Texas A&M team looking for its first win in SEC play. It's going to be a tough challenge tonight, but with Joni Taylor as the head coach, you know the defense is coming. That is the, really, the reputation that Joni Taylor has is that she is going to have a defensive plan, a scheme, but how is she going to do it? Because the Aggies, only seven available players tonight. Pass stolen away by Jasmine Carson, the transfer from West Virginia. Trying to take it in on Sydney Bowles, the freshman. Here's the starting five for LSU. Alexis Morris transitioning into that point guard position this season for LSU. Flaje Johnson in the corner, and it's out. Each stop that, that A&M gets, that's a victory. That's how they're going to measure their success. And you mentioned the limited numbers for Texas A&M. Unfortunately, that's been a theme for the Aggies. They will be without Sahara Jones tonight. That's a new one that we haven't seen. She's been playing all season, but out with back issues. So what does Texas A&M do with a shortened bench? They have got to really take care of the basketball and not run. You see Green slow it down, find balls. That's a good shot, a good look for them in their offensive scheme. Now, Sydney Bowles is their leading three-point shooter as Angel Reese it rattles out. Rebounded by Flage Johnson. And the number one thing you've got to do against LSU is you've got to get on the glass. You can't give them these second-chance opportunities. That's going to stay with LSU. Last touch by Aaliyah Patty. They're one of the top defensive scoring teams in the nation. Joni Taylor coming over from Georgia. She's in her first season as Texas A&M's head coach with the 2021 SEC Coach of the Year. Limited numbers for the Aggies tonight. Only seven available players for Texas A&M due to injuries. Yeah, four of the injured players are here on the trip. Sydney Roby, she's at home. She's recovered from some knee surgery. You know, it's like when her team makes a step forward, then something happens where there's a step back, and she keeps them encouraged. Shot was blocked by Samaya Smith, but A&M recovers. I like that freshman, number five, Samaya Smith for LSU. She's got terrific length. She's got great anticip anticipation skills, and she goes to the glass. Four seconds. Ernie Kendrick just ran right into LaDasia Williams and gave up the ball. Numbers for LSU, last tier, Poa, finally, LSU has points. Went home for Christmas break, and Dad said, go back, you got chores to do. Well, and Samaya <laughs> welcomed that because that's what she likes to do. She said that's her getaway, is getting back on the farm. She's got a horse, Cruz and Ashley. That's right. It's the name of the horse. Ernie Kindred finishes with the bucket for Texas A&M. LSU started out 0 for 6, getting their first point at the 6.02 mark in this quarter. Angel Reese has been taken to the bench. Green in trouble. Dumps it off to Sydney Bowles. Turnover. Fourth turnover. Flage Johnson on the layup. Oh. Oh, rolls all the way around and out for KK Green. Carson gives up the three look, takes the two on the baseline, swish. Green waiting on the screen for Malone. Kendrick for three. LSU ball, 14% from the field. LSU shooting 20%. I'm watching the rebounds right now. AM plus four on the glass. Angel Reese finally sees the ball go through. She started 0 for 4. Patty over to Kindred. Jada Malone calling for it inside. Back outside. the window. Last tier Poa with the basketball for LSU. Into the corner, Flage. Too much. Ladesia Williams. LSU won't get a second attempt. 
This is the lowest point total in any quarter this season for LSU. We talked about how many points they have scored early on, especially in the non-conference, to holding them to eight points. They battled on the glass, rebounding-wise. They have taken LSU out of their stuff. Three drops in for Katsiri Poole. Well, Texas A&M has held every opponent under its scoring average, and LSU averaging 92 points per game, first in the nation. But if Katiri Poole, Jasmine Carson, and Jose Johnson get going from the perimeter, look, LSU can turn it up. Pettigort shot is off. LSU is going to push. Faje Johnson just stepping through the defense and gets herself to the free throw line. I love that freshman right there. The problem for Texas A&M is they're shorthanded only seven players. We were talking about Faje Johnson averaging 25 points over the last two games. And she's a freshman. She yeah. plays with such confidence. Faje Johnson on the floor. It's going to be a foul on pool. Number 26 overall, she was a McDonald's All-American, the Jordan Brand Classic MVP. Green missed two games with an ankle injury. Unfortunately, it's been a theme for Texas A&M this season. Injuries all over the place. Flashe finishing through contact. Fancy. Texas A&M out rebounding LSU by one. And KK Green is fouled by Katiri Poole. That'll be her second. They have a fantastic gymnastics program. Alabama's Louisa Blanco. She's a player. She's an athlete to watch, a senior. Have you watched Friday Night Heights, right? I do, right. With one, like I have one hand over, ready to cover my eyes. Yeah, it is a little scary. Pull up. Williams, beautiful feed. Ladeja Williams did a beautiful job of posting up before the ball came in. That's where she gained the advantage. Faje, short. Angel Reese doing Angel, Angel Reese, Reese things. I know Kim Mulkey wants this to be a fast-paced game. Want to get up and down the floor because of the short roster that A&M has. They've already first forced A&M to eight turnovers. Patty from range. Rebound by Petticourt. Three seconds, huh? Bulls in and out. Poa running the point with Alexis Morris on the bench for LSU. Off that three-point line, the like LSU's having to work for every bucket they get. Texas A&M only has one point here in the second quarter. They're 0 for 4 from the field. Top of the key, Sydney Bulls. LSU ball. Alexis Morris. And Morris has only played a total of four minutes in this first half. Angel Reese, the number one impact transfer, according to Charlie Cream. She's held that spot, too. When you're putting up almost 25 points a game and 15, almost 15 rebounds a game, yeah, that's an impact. Aliyah Patty for three. Stay consistent every game. Threes back to Williams. Carson gets loose. Misses the three. Look, you see Joni Taylor putting her hands up, celebrating. They're celebrating the little things. It was a terrific defensive stop. The ball went inside. There was a double. There was. They took away the dive, the cut to the basket, and then contested a three-point shot. All in one possession. Angel Reese. Seven points, ten rebounds. But you can't let that happen. That's the bread and butter of this LSU offense. They can get the ball inside the paint. Good things are going to happen. Yeah. 
Kindred for two. Bounces off the back of the rim. Williams, second chance. Yes. And Texas A&M calls a timeout. Five seconds on the shot clock for McKenzie Green. Back to Patty. And KK Green traveled. A great job in the first quarter. Held LSU, the top scoring team in the nation, to its lowest point total in a quarter all season. Just eight points. Ooh, Morris might have gotten away with the travel. Carson for two. Angel Reese out of nowhere to get the rebound. He whistled his foul on Texas A&M. She misses the shot, she goes after it. They already have Jada Malone in foul trouble. But they're connected and not allow the flashes in the gaps in the paint, really clog it up, make the shots from the perimeter, then find somebody to box out. Scoring drought for A&M over two minutes. Into the corner, Sydney Bowles, freshman. I love this about Angel Reese's game. She's able to rebound it and then bring it. Very confident post player that's confident with her handles. She has 14 rebounds. Look, she's already hit her average. Yeah. And it's not even halftime. Two points away from that 15th straight double double. Skip pass over to Flage Johnson. 15, 16. She keeps adding up those rebounds. There's a double-double. Is she giving the signal too small? Ooh. She's had a double-double every game. She is so competitive. A woman that hates to lose. She competes every play. KK Green. Got to be a two-man game with Angel Reese. KK Green trying to force the turnover. Here comes Petty Cord. I believe that Kim Monkey feels like her team didn't come out ready to play, and she will address it. 4.2 seconds. KK Green stolen away by Angel Reese. They feel going is under review. They'll take a look at this. Did well, she get it off in time? It certainly went through. It looked good to me. I, and I will tell you, that'll make that visit in the locker room oh, a yeah. little bit more delightful after getting a defensive play like that than hitting a long three-point shot. They only played one power five opponent in the non-conference portion of the schedule, but the Tigers are number two in the net, and that's a big factor the selection committee looks at. Well, when you're looking at the net, you're looking at wins and losses, also point differential, playing away from home, and how you've done. And look, this is a very good LSU team. It, they showed that in the first SEC game against 24th ranked Arkansas. Okay, Flushing. Sashay Shantae. Flage. <laughs> I mean, she's going to be fun to watch. Her career, uh, I mean, she reminds me of Kalia Copper that plays for the Chicago Sky. In what way? She has the athleticism, the quickness. She has a terrific vertical, and she gets off the floor so easy. She said, look, I had to double my work ethic. I doubled everything I did because, you know, it, it's not uncommon. You're the best player in high school, and then you come to college, Everybody's the best player. Well, and the expectation that she was going to have playing for Kim Mulkey, too, and understanding the intensity you got to play with. Second foul whistled against KK Green. It's Angel Reese at the free throw line. Where she was a third team All American, averaged a double double last season, almost 18 points, 10 rebounds a game. More defined. If she's a lefty, when I was watching her on film, I couldn't tell whether she was left handed or right handed. And she said that she. 
She shoots lefty, but she does everything else with her right hand. The pass from Morris to Flage Johnson. Pretty. That's rebound number 20 for Angel Reese that ties her career high. And then she got back on the other end for another rebound. Where did Re Angel Reese come from? It's a new career high for her. Flange! That freshman is a bad girl. In the best way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A 14 0 run for the Tigers. First points for Texas AM. They ended the first half on a two minute and 20 second scoring drought. Watch where Angel Reese comes from. She is at the farthest back and continues to run the floor. She's the one that comes up with the rebound. That one gave her a new career high of 21 rebounds. She's fouled here on this play. And the fourth foul whistled against Jada Malone. Malone stays out there with four fouls for Texas A&M. Kindred is heading to the Scorer's table to check in for the Aggies. Bowles. There it is. Sydney Bowles with her first points. That's what Bowles can do. She's an engineer. She was going to figure out ways to get her shot. Look, talking to her today, I swear she's 35 years old. I mean, the great <laughs> maturity, composure. And loves her some Joni Taylor. Pool misses. Flage Johnson comes in for the rebound. It's going to be Texas A&M ball. Can read where the ball's coming off the floor, and they give that extra effort, that second effort, and work the ball. Flage Johnson with the steal. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Ernie Kindred elevating. Turnover LSU. Kindred the shot off the inbounds play. She's hit a couple in a row. AM's defense not going anywhere. Uh, there's no quit in these Aggies. Petticord misses back the other way for LSU up ahead to Reese. Angel Reese you see Angel Reese as soon as she scored getting right back in the play defensively. Reese one point away from a 2020 game. There goes Morris to Reese, and she's fouled. Alexis Morris, her first season of college was at Baylor for Kim Mulkey. She was dismissed from the team, went on to play two seasons at Rutgers, then last season, or excuse me, two seasons ago at Texas A&M before coming to LSU to play again for Kim Mulkey. And she got word that she felt like Mulkey would take her if she were interested. And Alexis Morris reached out, and that's how she ended up. the boards for LSU. I just wonder how many minutes will Kim Mulkey play Angel Reese? The coverage that she has in the paint on drives. Foul trouble increasing for Texas A&M. Aaliyah Patty now has four. Jada Malone already has four and she's on the A&M bench 
Aggies with only seven available players tonight. Kick to the corner, Maya Petticord in and out. Morris will push. Coast to coast, Alexis Morris. Not too many players are faster with the basketball than Alexis Morris. Bowles misses the second chance. But you got to recognize the season, your schedule's pretty much done by January of the previous year. Kim recognized, look, I'm going to lose 80% of my offense. So you're just in your second year, look, you're filling dates because you're believing that you're going to have to build some confidence in your team. Well, what happens in the spring? You get four impact transfers, one of them being Angel Reese. Yeah, could you have played a tougher schedule? Probably so, but you don't know that. And nine newcomers for LSU this season. Jana Malone shot is off. Morris feeding Reese. Immediately double teamed. Two more points for Angel Reese, and she's got 23 rebounds to go along with it. The most since 2006, you know, a player named Sylvia Fowles. Oh, yeah. Well, and this is her second 20-plus 20 20 point, 20-plus rebound game. She had 25 points against Oregon State with 20 rebounds to go along with that. She's at 21 and 23 right now. Eight seconds for AM. and Poa got a hand on it. Up ahead to Morris, who goes to the free throw line. She was the number one wing. She didn't come out of high school as a post player. He wasn't really looking at LSU until Kateri Poole started looking at LSU. <laughs> Seven seconds for KK Green. Here's Kindred. Poa, fouled with .2 seconds. really she really wants her team to be better this year than they were or better today is to try to win that rebounding battle the intensity and then taking care of the basketball that becoming of course that's the the title of Michelle Obama's book that's where Joni Taylor took it from When you look at the record to be discouraged, you think, oh, this is going to be so hard. After talking to her, I felt so encouraged. LSU almost a three-minute scoring drought. That ends thanks to Flashe. I think that Kelly Harper has found the rotation that she's needed in playing so many players. Oh, it's a great rebound by Smith. Angel Reese with another rebound, her 27th, and two more points. That ties a school record, 27 rebounds. Wow. And there's nobody at the table to sub her out. She's gonna break that record the relentlessness she's playing with and getting to the glass. Three-point play. Smith. Who steps into it? What do you think about the response we've seen from LSU when they didn't have their best start to this game? 
Well, they were showed that they had the ability to crawl and get themselves out of it. But I can guarantee you, Kim Mulkey doesn't want to practice that too often. Set the season attendance record last year. It was the largest turnaround by a first-year SEC head coach. They went 13-3 and in the SEC, finished second in the league. Second most regular season wins in LSU history with 26. Ended up losing in the second round of the NCAA tournament. I didn't hear you pass electrifying because I thought you were going to talk about Kim Mulkey's jacket. Well, I mean, it's electrifying, too. I wonder if it's battery-operated. The power bill for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the highlights to see when you do an LSU game. What is Coach Mulkey going to wear? A hundred, yeah. You're waiting for her to make her entrance to see what so, is going to come out of that closet. So timeout for substitutions. Angel Reese will take a seat. 26 points, 28. An LSU record. I believe that that's why that's standing ovation. This is an educated crowd who understands the according to Charlie Cream. 26 points, 28 rebounds, and LSU has found its footing. It took a quarter to get going. But they're back in rhythm looking like a top 10 team. Sydney Bowles hits. That ends a 7-0 run by LSU. Two minutes to go. You know, we talked about impact transfers. These are some of the top ones to watch, watch in the SEC. Angel Reese being at the top of that list. Sailor, Sailor Poppenberger got it going for Arkansas. And then Pierre Fletcher running the point, starting now for South Carolina at that point guard spot. LSU looking to tie their best start in program history with a win tonight. I tell you, it's, that's going to make when they play Tennessee very interesting when they matched up with South Carolina. LSU had the ability to fight their way through. There are things that AM is going to be able to show on film of. This is what you're capable of. They also kept the pressure on defensively and made it a nightmare for AM to get AM to get anything easy. <laughs> they wanted Samaya Smith to shoot that three. Give you the green light, honey. Pull the trigger. Petty Court will on the other end, and she's short. Two Tigers tonight. They tie their best start in program history. 15-0.